Firefighter is in the hospital in critical condition. Investigators say a truck hit Lieutenant Ashley White. She was trying to help two other drivers in a crash that happened at US 19 in Innisbrook Drive. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck explains how the community is coming together to offer their support. My fire department is grieving. This is this has hit all of us very personally. Palm Harbor Fire Commissioner Kelly Snow says her heart is shattered. She's worried sick about 38 year old fire lieutenant Ashley White, who is undergoing surgery at the hospital. She's very involved in Palm Harbor. Investigators say Lieutenant White was helping two drivers who collided at the intersection of US 19 and Innisbrook just before 3.30 this morning when a man in a pickup truck rammed into two fire trucks that were blocking off the intersection. Seconds later, he hit Lieutenant White, who was standing in the street, then rammed into a fire hydrant. They need to slow down. They need to be cautious. I mean, you see a big fire truck flashing lights. Hello, move out of the way. Detectives say the driver of the pickup truck, identified as a 26-year-old man from Ohio, died. They aren't sure what caused him to lose control of his truck. In Jesus' name we pray. The Palm Harbor community is now coming together to pray for Fire Lieutenant White and her family. Whether you pray or you don't pray, you can certainly think and at least offer up some positive thoughts and prayers for this entire family and our community because this, this one hurts. Investigators are all too familiar with the intersection of US-19 in Innisbrook. They investigated another crash here on Tuesday and yet another collision forced investigators to close down lanes less than two weeks ago. FDOT tells us this is an area where overpasses are planned in the future. Community leaders say it's another reminder of the danger along one of the most traveled roads in Pinellas County. As a matter of fact, we had a big billboard um, in 2019 addressing that issue that people don't move over when they see emergency or sheriffs or police on the edge of the road, on the side of the road, and it's tragic. Be aware of your surroundings. Know that you're not the only one on the road, especially on US-19. In Palm Harbor, Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.